Chess.com's Live Chess Analysis Board is one of the most useful features for coaches and students on our website today. The analysis board is perfect for private lessons as you can give somebody else full control over the board, allowing them to make moves and highlight squares and interact in the same way that you are. It's also great for group lessons as you can invite multiple users to the same board, showing off instruction and allowing them to engage with each other in a group chat. And of course, it's even great for private, perhaps secret, instruction and studying. You might invite a friend to do some opening preparation that you don't want others to see, or perhaps even do a lesson with a student that you don't want anybody else to observe. All of this and more can be accomplished very quickly as soon as you understand how to invite people to an analysis board, and that's what we're gonna do right now. To get started, we have to enter the Live Chess Arena. We do that under Play and click on Live Chess. Of course, we can navigate to chess.com slash live, or my personal favorite, with the left-handed navigation, we use our favorite little hand grabbing upon there and go into the Live Chess Arena. Now, I've already been in the Live Chess Arena for the purposes of this video and created two analysis boards. The first analysis board I created, Danny Bo Danny's Board 1, was done by choosing the analysis board as the bottom option. And then in this access area right here, you will see that you have two options, invite only and to anyone. I made this board open to anyone, and that's exactly why when you're in this board, you can see that a number of people have been joining and leaving the board. A lot of them joined it right away and then saw that I wasn't doing anything very exciting, and so they left. But for those that stuck around, looks like we have one trooper who's still here, Mr. Spark Eagle, and we can see that he is listed in my analysis board that's open to anyone as an observer by default because he joined it himself. Now, if I click on his username, I can change his access over the board to being a student. Students have the ability to do everything you're about to see me do, whether it's make highlights, whether it's make moves on the board. They can even mess with the settings over here, navigating forward and backward in the move list and analyzing along with me. Now, note that a student is able to do just about everything you do on the board. So if at some point you do that and you'd like to change somebody back to an observer, if they're perhaps messing with the analysis, it's very simple. You just click on them as I just did and change Mr. Spark Eagle back to being an observer. As we can see now, he now has lost his control over the board. So anybody that joins an analysis board that's open to anyone will by default be an observer unless you've invited them yourself. Well, let's talk about how we might do that. Three ways to invite a user. The first is the plus bubble that is available to you in the examination board user list, which is this tab right here. We click on the plus bubble. Immediately, we can see a list of all of our friends that are currently online. Maybe I want to invite a number of them. I can add them quickly just by clicking that bubble. Or of course, I can search for somebody who maybe isn't my friend, but I know their username by typing their username right here. I would click invite selected and voila, all of them would be sent and invite. So, the user list and plus bubble is the first and most common way to invite somebody to a board. The second is to find a username in a, a list yourself. You might go into the friends list yourself and click on a username or even go to the top players list and find a username. Clicking on a username allows you to now choose to invite them to an analysis board. It's the bottom option all the way to the right and that's because our system automatically detects that you have analysis boards open. So I click on Mr. Georg Meyer, I go over to the analysis board, clicking on it, and we see I have the option of inviting him to any of the analysis boards I had open. If I have 12 open, it would allow me to choose which board I wanted to invite Georg to. As I just said, this same system works if you find a username within the friends list, you click on their username, you click on the analysis option, and choose which analysis board you'd like to invite them to. So in review, we've seen now two ways to invite somebody the plus bubble within the user list, finding that username manually within one of our massive user lists of the site, clicking on it and choosing the analysis board invite option. Or finally, the third option is perhaps the option most known to power users, which is to use our direct command, slash invite username. In this case, we will actually choose a username, someone like JD Cannon, a staff member who we know is almost always online. Now, JD Cannon will have been sent an invite and be given the option to join our analysis board. This is particularly useful for the second analysis board that I created here. 
As we saw on that first board, a number of people were joining and leaving the board as it was open to anyone, so anyone choosing to follow me would have access to go in and out. However, this board was created by choosing the at invite only option under the access drop down. So knowing how to invite people to Danny's board too is particularly important. Of course, I can do all the ways we already went through. I can use the plus bubble and add usernames. I can find a username I'd like to add and click on them and do the same within the private board. But for those users most familiar with our analysis features, they would simply want to use a power feature like slash invite, type the username you're looking to do, and it will immediately give them access to the board and send them a personal invite. One note is that if you invite a user personally, whether by the command here, using the plus bubble, or, or seeking out their username yourself, it will automatically make them a student. If you remember in Danny's board one and in the observer list, the default option for anyone finding your board by following you will be that they're an observer. They can only see and watch. They can't do anything. But if you expressly invite somebody, whether it by command, plus bubble, or finding their username in one of our lists, it will automatically give them student control, assuming the use cases that you'd like to bring in somebody to take part in mutual analysis with you. As the owner, you can always change them from a student back to being an observer, but it should just be noted that a direct command to invite will always give them full control over the board with you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more detailed uh, presentation on all the things you can do within the analysis board, go ahead and click the video here in the intro notes below, uh, bringing you to a much longer 15 minute video where I go through all the power tools you can see in the analysis board, including posting PGNs and having full analysis sessions with a student with lots of preparation. You can also add any FEN, which is a specific position. You can do all kinds of stuff, download, set up custom positions, and then have it for puzzle solving. See everything that you can do within the analysis board in that much longer video, as I said, and start inviting people to your boards today, just as you learned in this video.